Have fun, guy. <laughs> Here we are. We're up live with Mojo Nixon. Hey, how you doing? All right, Good buddy. To see you. Skid Rover. Uh, now, uh, if oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone doesn't know your kind of music out there, there is one description that you have utilized, which seems to sum it up: a discompobulated frenzy of extemporaneous exaggeration. Yeah, oh, that sounds good, yeah. Is that right? Did I say that? Maybe. That sounds like something I would say, yeah. It's, I, it's almost like a evangelical pop music. Yeah, yeah, spontaneous um, spontaneous pontification is what it is. What is four and five syllable letters? <laughs> There's words here. What's going on here? I've been going to college, you know, night school, book learning, ciphering and everything, you know. I have an image when I listen to your music, and that is almost like a, a 1946 convertible going across the plains singing your music and uh, being Dean Moriarty and uh, ooh, writing, the, ooh, writing the transcript ooh. for On the Road. Who doggy, who doggy. That'll, that'll get me excited talking that way. Yeah, well hopefully we'd be like the guys either in the 46 uh, convertible or we might be the guys on the front porch, you know. People, you know, like really, really normal people, like people you meet at shopping malls, you know. They go, so what kind of music does your band play? You know, and we go, I go, well, it's crazy. It's rock and roll, it's rhythm and blues, it's comedy, it's country, it's, it's front porch, it's down home, it's nasty, you know, and everything. And they go, golly, is it, is it like Bon Jovi? And I go, no, it's not, you know. Is it like Woody Guthrie? Yeah, I guess it's a little bit like Woody Guthrie. Not a, not a whole lot, but it, it, it's closer to that than Bon Jovi, I guess. So how long have you guys been together? Uh, we, we've been married for about eight years now. <laughs> I hear rumors actually that, that you met Skid at a Buddhist withdrawal, a, a retreat when you were meditating, is that true? <laughs> it's all true. No, no, me and Skid meet, met, we were being held prisoner underneath Graceland. By the, we used to be Elvis impersonators. In another life, we were Elvis impersonators. And Shirley MacLaine used to come to all our shows. And we were being held prisoner underneath Graceland and we were tunneling out and we came out in this women's prison in Arkansas that was run by Howlin' Wolf's mom. And that's where we played our first show. Wow, what a religious experience. What a, what a thing it was. Now, is Skid the philosopher? Are you the philosopher around here, Skid? You're sort of like the energy and in the intellect? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like being in the basement of Graceland? Oh, it was great. It was great. We were down there. We were feeling the power of Elvis. Is, is that where the inspiration for the song came from? Elvis is everywhere? Well, yes. Well, we were being held prisoner down there, is actually. You know, we were in the sub, sub basement down there with all the nutty buddies and everything. By Elvis's Uncle Vester. Yeah, Uncle, Uncle Vester. Uncle Vester. Wow. Not Vester, Vester. Yeah, but that is his name. Uh, yeah. That's right. He, he has his great book called A Presley Speaks. A Presley Speaks. It's packaged like a Bible. Yeah. It's, it's pretty. Pretty hard to find now. So, so do you think there was a mind meld between Elvis and you guys? I, I think it was. You know, I think... Uh, Vulcan death grip. Yeah, a mind meld is it. You know, Elvis, uh, Elvis is everywhere. He's in everything. He's even in beanie weenies. And I think I've been eating so many beanie weenies lately that the spirit of Elvis has just jumped up inside of me there. You know? Do you think you could jump right out of your throat right now and there you could play us the tune? Oh, yeah, I guess we could. Let me, let me... And we got some uh, Elvis Graceland footage. Yeah, uh, it's a backdrop, so... Uh, the stage is yours, gentlemen. Okay, thanks a lot there, boss. I'm going to stand up now. Yeah. Let me roll up my sleeve here. Bon Guthrie, that's what it is, Bon Guthrie. Bon Guthrie. Okay. When I look out into your eyes out there, when I look out into each and every one of your faces, you know what I see? I see a little bit of Elvis in each and every one of you out there. Let me tell you, way. Elvis is in everything. Elvis is in Nutty Buddies. He's in cheeseburgers. Elvis is in your mom. Elvis is in everything. He's in the young, the old, the white, the black, the brown, the yellow, the blue. Elvis is in everybody except one person. Ah, one person, the evil opposite of Elvis, the anti-Elvis. Let me tell ya. Michael J. Fox got no Elvis in him. Ah! Yeah, I know we're gonna get in trouble for saying that in Canada, aren't we, kid? Well, 
lot of teenage girls are gonna come over here and take take to our hiney parts, aren't they? But let me tell you something else. Elvis is in Joan Rivers, but he's trying to get out. Yeah, and Elvis, man, Elvis is also in Spuds McKenzie, but he's trying to get out of him too. I hate that dog. I want to eat him up. I hope he's not a sponsor. Elvis is everywhere. Elvis is everything. Elvis is everybody. Elvis is still the king. Man, oh man, what I want you to see. Big E's inside of UMD. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. people out there in TV land, let me ask you a question. Who built the pyramids? Elvis. Who built Stonehenge? Elvis. Who built Easter Island? Elvis. Man, why do they call it vitamin E? It's vitamin Elvis. That's right, man. Elvis is the beginning. He's the end. He's the be all. He is it. Some of you people out there have been watching too much Star Trek. Like our host here. He's been watching too much Star Trek, talking about mind melds and everything. Some of you people think that people in outer space, you think people in outer space, you think they look like Dr. Spock. You think they look like Klingons. You think they look like all that Romulan jive. No! People in outer space look like Elvis, because Elvis is the perfect being. We're all moving in perfect peace and harmony towards Elvisness. Soon all will become Elvis. Why do you think they call it evolution anyway? It's Elvis Lucian. Elvis Lucian. Elvis is everywhere. Elvis is everything. Elvis is everybody. Elvis is still the king. Uh -huh. And oh man, what I want you to see. Big E's inside of UFD. Elvis is everywhere. Elvis is everything. Elvis is everybody. Elvis is still the king. Oh, ho, ho doggy, ho oh, doggy. Was that hard work or what? Oh, no, that was easy. That was easy going. Thank you. We'll this is some snow cones. Hey, yeah. look, look, snow cones. Oh. Liquid snow cones. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks. I, I read your mind. They always spoke to me and he said, hey, Mojo and Skid, they're mm -hmm. drying the throat. Oh. Kind of like Jim Jones Kool Aid. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get rid of us because we said that thing about Michael J. Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Where? But he's from the other part of Canada, right? Oh, well, oh, no, no, there away. is no rivalry between the west and the east. Out, no, 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 it's not like the north and the south. Oh, nothing like that. No, nothing like that. When, when they have like a hockey game like uh, Edmonton versus Toronto, they don't have like a few little <laughs> stick flying matches or nothing? No, that, that never they, happens. No, machine guns. Machine guns. <laughs> machine guns. <laughs> how, how on earth did you make a living out of insulting people? Well, there's people out there that are taking themselves too seriously now, don't you think? Yeah. There's the people out there that are walking around. Maybe they, you know, they got something on the roll and they're walking around like this. I'm the coolest. I'm super cool. I'm cooler than Bruce Willis, you know. Well, heck, we just got to deflate them a little bit. They're like, like Tammy Faye Baker, Baker Jiffy Pop hairdo wigs. We just got to let the air out the back of them a little bit and they go psh and go hey, down. You did that with a, with a female VJ on M uh, MTV, didn't you? That's right. Martha Quinn. Then she got fired. Some people tried to blame us for her getting fired, but it wasn't us. Really? But actually, see, I wasn't, like, insulting her as much as I was lusting after her. Well, <laughs> we, we have a female equivalent of Martha, except far more attractive. I was lusting after her just a few minutes ago. Well, why don't we bring her on the set and, uh... <laughs> no, wait, I, 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 might embarrass, I might embarrass myself. This is Erica M., our own, our own, our very own Erica M. Come on down. Uh, uh, Oh, sure. Get over here. No, no, no. Well, you can share my mic. Is there anything you want to say, you know? Um, I understand that you actually sang the song about Martha about me. I, I, I have to confess I did. <laughs> it was prior, prior, to, prior to me coming face to face with your bodaciousness right here in front of me. I like that. Now, had you ever seen me on much music before? Had you ever seen much music before? No, no. Somebody just told me. I said, well, I don't have MTV up here, so how am I going to do my big hit song? <laughs> how did it go over? It went over okay. 
But it didn't go over as good as Martha Quinn. Okay, you know? that's good. You're off the hook. Oh, the time. Bye. Oh, man. <laughs> Gosh, she's got one of them machine guns. She's going to a hockey game or something. <laughs> so, so why do you think people are uh, eating up your stuff right now? Well, I don't know. I mean, they're not quite eating it up, but everything's going real good. I, I think because we're just freewheeling nuts. You know, we don't pretend to be something we aren't. We just like to have a good time. Let, let people know it's okay to have a good time. So many people walk around, they're like, God, is it okay to dance? I mean, maybe, can I clap now? Gosh, I, if everybody else is clapping, I'll clap. I mean, sometimes you just got to cut loose. Rah! You know, and just, just be free, you know, and freewheeling. Do you find you're an inspiration to people who say, Man, that is amazing. I play the spoons. I can get out there <laughs> and do something like that. Well, yeah, that. occasionally we have people at the shows, uh, usually intoxicated people who have convinced themselves that what we do is so simple that they can come up and play with us no problem, you know. And we maybe let them come up for a little bit, but then, <coughs> then usually they don't want to leave, you know. Let me play another song. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking about playing live, you're in eastern Canada, here central Canada. Where are you playing tonight, Sunday? Playing tonight, Sunday, in Hamilton at this place, Teasers. And then we're playing uh, tomorrow night and uh, the next night is, what is tomorrow? Monday. 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 It'd be Monday. Yeah, well, that, it's funny how that works. Every week is the same. Oh, it's, what a great cycle of existence. Unbelievable, it is. isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday we'll be at Rivoli, yeah. In Toronto. In Toronto, right and here. And you got something on vinyl. That's right, we got a brand new album. It's called Bodacious, and I, I guess it's in the stores, and Elvis is everywhere is on it. And, and we'll be getting y'all a copy of the new video, too. A video of Elvis is everywhere, which has a lot of footage from, uh, from this thing, uh, this Mondo Elvis thing in it. Oh, it has some great things in it. Does Skid sing? Yeah, he sings a couple songs on the record. Tell, tell them about him, Skid. Well, one is a, kind of a polka. We got to play electric mandolin. And another one's a song about Lincoln Logs. All right. Do they have Lincoln Logs up here? Lincoln Logs? Yeah, like when you're a oh, kid. Oh, yeah, I had Lincoln Logs, actually. Okay, you can I relate to this song. I had Lincoln Logs. You can build a little house. Right, yeah. There you go. Yeah, like Lego almost, except longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we've, we've got your one video up to date right now, which is the uh, Burn Down the Malls. Right, it's a happy song. It's a, kind of a Sunday afternoon kind of song, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to say goodbye to you. You want to introduce it to the camera there and uh, let them know what they're listening to? Okay. Y'all keep your eyes on the TV screen, because what you're about to see may make you go insane. It may give you some kind of sexual dysfunction or something. So you better keep watching. <laughs> Burn Down the Malls, Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. Yeah. Uh.